Hi there. The weather is messy for the rest of Thursday in many places, as is often the case when you have two competing air masses across the UK. We've got cold Arctic air moving south across the northern half of the UK, Atlantic much milder air moving north. And where these two air masses collide, a band of precipitation which has been falling as rain in the south, rain, sleet and snow across central and northern parts of the UK. Now we've seen some substantial sleet and snow affecting parts of mid and north Wales, the North Midlands through the morning, but here's the boundary between the much milder air and the colder conditions. It's moving north, so the snow generally turning back to rain, although there is the risk early part of the afternoon of some freezing rain for a time across higher parts of North Wales, hence the amber warning here. And there's the risk of continued snowfall from the Peak District northwards across Northern England into Northern Ireland and Southern Scotland during the rest of the afternoon. Now, at lower levels, it's certainly a mixed picture. Some places will get rain, some places will get a patchy covering of snow, depending on how heavy the precipitation is. But generally, it's turning back to rain from the south as the afternoon goes on and it's just higher parts that will see the greatest risk of disruption. So for Northern Ireland, 5 to 15 centimetres above 150 metres. For northern parts of England, 2 to 5 centimetres above 200 metres, 10 centimetres for some of the higher areas and that could cause disruption on some of the higher Transpennine routes. But this amber warning, therefore parts of the Peak District into the South Pennines, a continued risk of 25 centimetres above 300 metres. But as I mentioned, down at lower levels where some of the main populated centres are, it's mostly going to be rain, increasingly so, as that mild air feeds in from the south during the afternoon. Now, in the far south, after a wet start, some drier interludes during Thursday afternoon, but another bout of wet weather arrives as we end the day. That could cause further issues, of course, coming at a busy time in the afternoon some heavy and persistent wet weather and throughout Thursday 25 millimetres and in some places 45 millimetres of rain accumulating. Gusty winds here and a gusty wind also blowing uh, east to west across parts of northern England. Not going to feel very pleasant in that wind, it's going to feel cold. And across Scotland actually brighter skies here, fewer wintry showers in the far north compared with recent days but still we've seen some impacts from the snow in Orkney, continued uh, disruption here and there could be a few more sleet and snow showers falling throughout Thursday afternoon. But sunshine in between and look at that temperature contrast, 2 to 5 Celsius at best in the north, lower than that where the snow continues to fall across higher parts of northern England into northern Ireland and southern Scotland but 12 or 13 Celsius in the south, although not feeling very pleasant in the wind and rain. Heading into the afternoon, we follow that band of rain, sleet and hill snow northwards, and increasingly as the milder air mixes in, it is going to be turning back to rain away from the highest peaks of northern England, southern and central Scotland, and there's increasingly a risk of disruption across parts of Scotland as we go through Thursday night, but mostly it's going to be over higher parts. Always a chance that snow will come down to lower parts uh, inland, but this will be very patchy. Most of the accumulations will be above 300 metres. Risk of 10 centimetres in places, again, enough to cause disruption as we start off Friday. But for the rest of the UK on Thursday nights, we've got spells of rain pushing north across the southern half of the country, heavy and persistent, followed by lively showers coming into southern counties of England and South Wales. Further sleet and snow showers arriving into the north and east of Scotland ahead of the main band of precipitation. And this, by the end of the night, will be mostly rain across Northern Ireland, much of Northern England away from the highest peaks. And uh, southern Scotland also seeing increasingly persistent rain, sleet and hill snow. An easterly breeze continues across the northern half of the UK, southwesterlies in the south, and it's going to be blustery for many areas as we begin Friday. But a mild start in the south, 9 or 10 Celsius, closer to freezing further north, where we've got the wintry weather continuing throughout the day on Friday. Again, you can see by the blues, a lot of this is rain at lower levels, but certainly further issues to do with snowfall over higher parts of Scotland, and increasingly that snow will affect eastern parts of Scotland above uh, 100, 200 metres or so. Yellow snow and ice warning in force for eastern and northern Scotland for the second half of Friday because there's the risk of above two, 300 metres of 10 to 20 centimetres of snow building up over the Grampians and the Highlands and uh, could see some uh, smaller amounts at lower levels as well. But elsewhere across the UK, we're well and truly into the mild air by this stage 
so that it's rain showers circulating around an area of low pressure. Those showers will be hit and miss. Uh, it could be some heavy downpours later Friday across southeastern parts. They'll move away into the night time. And the weekend sees more rain, seat and snow across eastern and northern Scotland, much of the snow over the hills, but elsewhere across the UK it's considerably milder with areas of rain or showers.